Welcome back to How Made. Can I talk about this for a moment? Can I talk about this for a moment? This movement of the forks. It's something that is something that I was really excited to do because this is a feature that was not in Flash 8. So being able to switch to this new version really, really opened the possibilities. Now you're dealing with features that you couldn't have ever expected, like edit multiple frames. I think that already existed, but like this shaker plugin that I made, this little script that has been really helpful but combined with edit multiple frames you can use it to do some really cool stuff in fact i'm in the mood to make something just from scratch so say you have this like i don't know what are we gonna have moving around let's say it's uh the star all right look at that star it's a really good looking star is not a cool star i think so and we're gonna have it just spinning and let's just make it take one second to spin 25 frames yeah so that's a whole revolution in one second we're gonna go to rotate oh yeah big screen i'm sorry i'm not gonna edit this so you know you gotta look at it in big screen or maybe someone else can edit it you know this is the power of teamwork you know i do something that's less than what i need to and someone does it for me that is really magic at work that's you know teamwork makes the dream work right all right and we're going to hit f oh, yeah i got all these key these key things that really just make things a little bit quicker. And so that turns, that copies those frames into a graphic. Now that we've got that thing spinning. You know, I'm sorry, my, my frame rate's really terrible. I should switch to my smaller screen because this one's like retina. It's like, it's working harder than it used to, but you'll see the effect in the end. Yeah, so we've got this thing. Now we use our shaker tool to shake, well, no. This starts out completely static and we use our shaker tool to like move it around a bit. So let's say uh, 20 pixels in each direction. I'm not going to rotate it. I'm not going to make it fade away. They're not in sync. I'm sorry. I did not make the shaker tool. Carrie made the shaker tool. My brother Carrie, you know, I should not be taking credit for this. Look at that. So now that's shaking a bit. You can't really see that. But now if you use edit multiple frames, you can copy them all cut them at the same time and we're going to remove these keyframes and paste them so now they're all in the same keyframe and now they're all moving in different ways is that it is that really it well okay let's see if we can like do some other stuff with it so say we make it so they all start on the same frame so now they're all offset but just like this we've now got all of these different things all these different particles in a way all moving in different ways. Let's do something that's not like so big and blobby. Let's let's just make a little fork. Let's turn down the size and we've got a fork situation going on there. Select that, make that spin around 25 frames. Give it a classic tween, go to rotation clockwise. Now that's spinning around. I'm pressing F9 because that's what I've got going on here. Remove that last frame. And you know what? Let's, I think, I don't know if this is going to give me some duplicated uh, things here, but let's, let's like double it up or maybe triple it up. So instead of 24, we're going to have 48 or we're going to have, uh, I can't think right now. What's 48 plus 25? All right, let's just, let's, let's have 48, okay? Okay, let's, let's not think about my inability to do math right now. And let's have the shaker going on. 20, 20. Rotation, actually, let's, let's make it rotate like 10 degrees or something. Not fade away, not in sync. Now it's gonna go through all of it. One thing I don't like about this new version of Flash compared to Flash 8, or you know, I don't know when this changed, but now it like has to redraw every time it does something. And some scripts are a little slower because of that. Now, if we edit multiple frames, and have all these different forks. Look at that, they're already in a sort of fuzzy ring because they're all offset in random ways. And we're going to remove these keyframes and just let them all play, paste them in the first frame. And when we've got a little hula hoop, we've got our own little sort of lay of rainbow forks that are all going around. The frame rate's terrible because this computer isn't able to keep up with the super high resolution we've going on here. But maybe, yeah, if you just follow these steps in some way, because like you don't really need 
to use commands to do all of it. Maybe the shaker tool. You probably should have like the shaker tool. I should probably like upload that. But yeah, if you just use these tools, shaker tool, edit multiple frames, you'll be able to make something like this. And then you can like scale it. Now it's looking 3D, but well, okay. If you scale it before you add the shaker tool, then it'll look more 3D. But that's that. Look at those. Those few are going against the grain, just like you and me. We'll see you next time.